Go! Fellas, let's talk some Bitcoin and crypto. What's going on, guys? Happy uh, Thursday. Thursday. Let's figure get of it. Uh, Bitcoin, a little retracement today. So this is what we talked about yesterday, guys. Uh, nothing crazy, right? We said if Bitcoin can't break above 69K, we're going to get a little pullback and maybe try to form, hopefully, <laughs> a little bit of uh, inverse head and shoulders here uh, on the corn. And we'll talk about that today. We'll talk about how a lot of the altcoin pair charts uh, looked bottom to me, especially ETH. Uh, ETH first Bitcoin looks bottomed. Uh, I've said it since January. I think ETH Bitcoin is bottomed since the Bitcoin ETF. That's been true. And I think that's going to be the case. And you can see that ETH is holding up. Uh, Bitcoin took a tumble today. ETH is actually holding up very, very nicely. And I think that's going to continue. Uh, we'll also take a look at the Soul ETH chart. Might surprise you a little bit. And uh, we'll take a look at a, a few different cool things. So uh, let's get it. Spec up the likes and um, subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't new. Uh, well, if you guys are new, subscribe to the channel. Uh, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, Haram, DJ Barry, QM, T Money, Peter, Terry, Stewart, Persian Sounds, Boot, Judge, uh, Sweat, Anderson, Link, BTC, Super Bottom. Yeah, we'll look at we'll look at Link BTC. There's a lot of awesome charts we're gonna look at today, guys. So um, obviously today um, down day, right? Down day. But we we knew like we talked about yesterday, like Bitcoin pumped about ten percent. Usually on those big days. Um, you do see a little bit of a pullback, right? So we have gotten a pullback about, we pulled back about half that move, um, which is totally normal, right? And actually, you know, looking at what we did so far, and we'll see if we hold here, but um, we had this downtrend of resistance on BTC that we actually broke to the upside, back tested, and uh, we're actually holding that as support now. And, you know, if you guys don't know the dick and balls pattern, and well, you know, sometimes these dick and ball, balls pattern don't work, okay? Sometimes, you know, you draw these patterns and they just break through your patterns, you know? But the, the infamous dick and balls, um, there was a dick and balls that I remember on BTC. I forget where it was. I think it was down here and, and I didn't believe in the dick and balls. <laughs> if you guys remember this dick and balls pattern down here, I think it was. Where was the dick and balls? There was another dick and balls. Oh, you guys probably remember. There was a dick and balls that I that I didn't believe in and the dick and balls absolutely exploded to the upside. Um, so I'm not gonna go against the dick and balls. So we broke out this trend line and you can see that we have this little left shoulder here. We came down, we came back up and you can see that we're, we're right where that left shoulder is. So where we wanna see is Bitcoin hold like this $64,500 level and see if it can push back up. If it breaks this level, it's not looking too good guys. We're probably going a little bit lower, uh, which is fine. But ultimately I'm looking for this level to hold and form the dick and balls or inverse head and shoulders pattern. If you don't, if you don't know what it is, the classic dick and balls. <laughs> Let's get this baby. Let's get this baby. So that's what we talked about yesterday, right? If we couldn't break 69K in the first time, most likely we're gonna pull back and try to form the dick and balls. Okay. So um now, what, what would the target of the dick and balls be? Okay, because this is a pretty big dick. <laughs> it's a pretty big cock. Okay. The target of the cock. Right, if we take the head and we just put it at the breakout point, right? The target of the cock of the dick and balls uh, would put us somewhere at about, um, actually a little short of 76K, right? So 75,800 would be the target of the dick and balls <laughs> if it played out. So we'll see if that plays out for Bitcoin, but I think there's some good signs on Bitcoin and kind of like what we've been talking about for Bitcoin, guys. All the liquidations are to the upside, right? All the liquidations are to the upside. By the way, Hoffs is making bow ties. If you guys like bow ties, I'm not a big fan of bow ties, but um, if you guys like bow tie pasta, I don't know, man. I, I think you need to go get go get checked up by the doctor if your favorite pasta is bow ties, but <laughs> that's just me. But as we were talking about, right, we look at the weekly, um, most of the liquidations are to the upside, right? Um, we, we look up here, 68, right, 70K, um, all the way upwards to like 71, 72K. Most of the, the, the liquidations um, for the leverage players uh, are to the upside, okay? Um, so I, I still do believe, even though we have seen a little bit of a pullback here, uh, that we are going to take out the shorts 
uh, to the upside before uh, we go significantly lower, if we're going to go significantly lower, okay? So um, that's what we got. I think the corn looks fine here. And ultimately, like, kind of like how we said yesterday, um, I think the lows on, on most of the alts were yesterday, right? I, I think if you didn't catch the lows yesterday, I don't think you're going to get lower than what you did on the altcoins yesterday, okay? Um, okay, okay. Who we got here? Ejaculation distance is 76K. <laughs> Let's freaking go, man. Let's freaking go. I prefer neckties. Yeah, I prefer neckties too. We got a Bud Light Platinum Seltzer over here, guys, tonight. Um, as we celebrate the Bitcoin pullback. <laughs> That's what we're doing today. Um, all right. So what else are we look at? So ETH, okay? Um, everyone's talking shit about ETH. All I hear is people talking shit about ETH. ETH sucks. ETH gas fees. I know that ETH gas fees sucks, but I talk about that, guys. Big institutions, big money that actually moves ETH. You're not moving ETH. Your 10 buck buy is not moving Ethereum. What moves Ethereum is the big institutions. They don't care about the $100 gas fees, okay? Hence why BlackRock opened a $100 million Ethereum fund, okay, that we don't know if they bought it or not yet, but they're opening a $100 million Ethereum fund, not a Cardano fund, not this fund, an Ethereum fund, okay? The institutions are bullish on ETH, okay? Um, and I think that shows, and I'm a big proponent in, I'm going to continue to say this, that I think Ethereum has bottomed against Bitcoin, okay? And I've said this since January, it's been true. It hasn't seemed like it, actually. It, seemed like, it seems like Bitcoin has gone up more than ETH. That's actually not true. Um, that actually is not true. In the last three months, Ethereum has actually gone up more than Bitcoin. Hence the 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 the, the, the differences of what people believe. But I do believe that, like kind of like we talked about, every January of the having year, Ethereum bottom against Bitcoin, and I still believe that's the case. And I do think that this is going to start getting a run up as we get closer to the Ethereum ETF deadline, as people start to think about that. So once again, everyone's talking shit about ETH. Um, I think ETH is going to be one of the better plays. And you might be saying, but but Jordan, like, aren't other things going to outpace ETH? Yes, they are. But I think what's the most important thing about this chart, guys, and you don't understand it, but what's the most important thing about this chart is if ETH outpaces Bitcoin, that usually means that the other altcoins are outpacing Bitcoin too. That usually means that alt season's going on if ETH is outpacing Bitcoin, okay? So this is super bullish for altcoins, okay? I know it doesn't feel like it right now. I know it feel like everyone's deep in the dumps. I can see it on the metrics. I can see low likes on the videos, okay? People aren't hyped in the chat, okay? I can see it, okay? I get it. But this is when you want to be most excited about crypto. This is when you want to be looking forward to what's to come. You don't want to be pumped on the pump days. You actually want to be bearish on the pump days, taking profits on the pump days. When things are low and things are gloomy and doomy and sad, is when you either want to be picking stuff up or you actually want to be focusing on, you know, what's going to pump the most? Do I, am I, is my money in the correct spots? Do I have my money in the correct spots? Like, should I be in Bitcoin or should I be in ETH at this point? Like, which one should I be in? These are the types of conversations we should be having, right? Um, I do believe ETH Bitcoin is bottomed. I do think this is going to start moving up very, very soon. Um, and, and just to, just to kind of put that in perspective, and this is no shot at soul, but I, I, I think people, You know, this is no shot at Seoul. I think Seoul is going to still continue up in USD price. But Seoul's got some massive weekly bearish divergence at the previous all-time high, November 2021. Bearish divergence on the weekly at resistance against uh, ETH. Okay, so I think there's a play here where yeah, <laughs> the charts are telling me, I don't know, something on the charts is telling me that ETH is about to get a massive pump. Um, something on the charts is telling me. The soul ETH chart, okay, with the bearish divergence at resistance, the Bitcoin ETH chart, okay, with at support in a falling wedge, right, I do think is bottomed. Something's telling me that ETH is about to get a massive rally. Um, and, and I feel it in my boats. And I, I don't obviously like like to talk about individual altcoins a lot. And I actually haven't been like, a huge fan of ETH for a while, but I, I, I feel it in my bones that we're about to see like just crazy ETH rally. Um, that's going to be pretty crazy. But, you know, obviously, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It is what it is. Um, but, yes, yeah, I first wanted to start with ETH. I think ETH Bitcoin is bottomed. And I think that goes into the other altcoins, right? So I actually wanted to look at a few of these today, by the way. 
Um, this is what I want to look at, guys. I think that this is going to be a fun stream if, we, if you guys actually pay attention. It doesn't go one ear out the other um, like most of the things do, right? So let's look at some of these um, these altcoin Bitcoin charts. So um, I'm hearing a lot of like... so. I think what I want to look at, obviously, we know the coins that have been outpacing Bitcoin, they're going to keep outpacing Bitcoin, right? You know, the, the, the AI coins, the memes, um, you know, Soul, <laughs> those coins are probably going to continue to outpace Bitcoin, okay? But I want to look at the laggards, okay? Because I think that's going to be the real key. When are the laggards bottomed against Bitcoin? That's when altcoin season is going to start because altcoin season is when all altcoins pump, not this coin. Okay, we have AI season, meme coins, Solana season, ETH season. When are all alts gonna go to the moon? Okay, I'm talking like big pumps. I think we're getting to that point, and I'm gonna show you guys why. Like, I'm gonna show you guys why in the chart. It's not just like based off feelings. I'm gonna show you guys why in the chart. I believe that way, and it's actually a lot of the coins that I don't like. <laughs> it's actually a lot of coins. That honestly, like I could, I could do whatever about. Like Cardano, I loved Cardano last cycle. I'm not a big fan of it this cycle, to be quite honest. Other than the fact that people talk shit about Cardano, okay? <laughs> like Becker, like Becker, man, okay? Like Becker, right? Becker, come out, talk shit about Cardano. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what's going on, guys? It's Becker. Yeah, Cardano ain't going nowhere. If you're buying Cardano, you probably live in your mom's basement. And honestly, you're not going to get as much game gains as the gaming tokens. You should be buying Shrap. You should be buying Vulcan Forge. You should be buying Beam. You should be buying, um, you know, Ultra. You should not be buying Cardano. It's going to do it maybe a 2x from here. What do you want, a 2x? Uh, backer, backer, backer. But even the, the coins that I don't like, not that I don't like, the coins that I'm not interested in buying, I even think are getting to the point where they're almost bottomed against Bitcoin, right? So this is ADA, okay? This is ADA against Bitcoin, okay? And you can see that it has this trend line that has, it's never broken in its history, okay? So either we can say this time is going to be different, or we can say that it's going to hold this trend line again and get a rally against Bitcoin, okay? And then we know if, if, if Cardano is going to outpace Bitcoin, we know that it's probably going to be a good old coin move, okay? Because, okay, here's 2017, right? Here's 2019, here is 2020, here is just a couple months ago, we're actually got a decent little rally against Bitcoin, and we're actually back at that support level, okay? So Cardano, one that's been struggling, back at its Bitcoin pair support. And that's not all, okay? That's not all. Look at XRP, you guys know I, I, I honestly, I would rather own a piece of shit than own XRP. I would rather take a shit on the sidewalk and step in it with brand new shoes, right? Than own XRP <laughs> for a long-term hold. <laughs> Maybe for a little short-term hold, but not a long-term hold, okay? Even XRP is getting to a point where maybe, maybe, it may be ready for a little bit of a move up. And what do I mean by that? But so you saw ADA. Now, if we look at XRP Bitcoin, right? This is 2017, right? Massive rally. This is 2020 when it, it, it basically had the lawsuit and then it went to the support and then had a massive rally. And here we are now, okay? We are back at that same trend line. So you guys notice what I'm seeing? Is it a coincidence that Cardano is at that trend line? That XRP is also at that trend line at the same time Okay, and we even go look at some other laggard coins. What else? What else is lagging? Okay, well, let, let's look at Cosmos. Cosmos is another one that's been lagging. Okay, where does that happen to be? That also happens to be exactly where it bounced in 2019 and 2021. So I, I don't look at this as a coincidence. Either this time's gonna be different. It totally could. Like, dude, this guy, this guy, guys, this this time could be different, right? Maybe altcoins just go to zero <laughs> and it's over, right? Cardano breaks the trend line, XRP breaks the trend line, Cosmos breaks the trend line, and they all just go to zero. Okay. Sure, maybe. Okay. I'm gonna go with the point that this time is not different. And I think we're closer to altcoin season than most people think we are. Because even the altcoins that haven't been moving. 
I think are going to start moving soon because they're at Bitcoin pair supports, right? And this is when you don't, you believe that it's not going to happen the most, right? No one thinks Cardano is going to moon here. <laughs> Who thinks that Cardano is going to moon? Who thinks XRP is going to moon, right? Who thinks Cosmos is going to moon? Not even the Cosmos holders think they're going to think it's going to moon, right? This is the exact time where it would. All right. So another one. Okay. <laughs> I can show you guys these charts. I love looking at these charts. Look at even Litecoin. Okay. Which I, <laughs> I wouldn't hold Litecoin. Any, no, not Litecoin. Actually, not Litecoin. Sorry. <laughs> Take that back. Not Litecoin. Litecoin's got, Litecoin has already gone to zero. It's over for Litecoin. <laughs> It's over for Litecoin, man. I don't know. The only thing I'll say about Litecoin, Litecoin Bitcoin, is it's only been oversold. I mean, you could argue it's actually, it's only been oversold two times in its history on the weekly. And both those times were the precedencers. Is that a word? Pre pre is that a word? Pre 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 Predencers? I don't know. But only two times that's happened was actually before you had the biggest rallies on Litecoin. Okay, 2018, 2022, which were the, the Litecoin halvings. And you, you just went oversold on, on, on the weekly too. Doesn't mean it has to pump from here, but just to give you guys a, like a, a relative thought process of where we are, right? So um, the way I'm looking at the market right now is I'm still bullish on Bitcoin, but the way I'm looking at the altcoin pairs I, I'm, I'm really more bullish on the altcoins at this point. Um, and I'm actually a lot more bullish on ETH, um, actually. Um, I'm a lot more bullish on ETH, actually, than Bitcoin at this point. Um, and yeah, that's the way I'm looking at the market right now, guys. I, 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 the charts are the charts, right? We can feel one way or we can just go based off what the charts look like. I think the altcoin charts look really, really good, um, despite the last few weeks. Um, not being the greatest. Um, and, and and honestly, you can see it, right? Bitcoin's down 5% today, but a lot of these altcoins are up and barely down today. When I mean, normally Bitcoin's down 5%, bro, these altcoins are down 20%. You ain't seeing that anymore. You're seeing, I think the sellers, a lot of the sellers for the altcoins are gonzo. Gonzo. I think they sold the last few weeks. They're out. So people who will sell, I already think have sold. Um, I think we're in a good spot. Uh, <laughs> you know, the founder of Litecoin sold all his bag in 2017. It's probably bullish though. <laughs> it's probably bullish when the founder of a coin sells all their coins. It's probably slightly bullish. Actually, <laughs> that means they can't sell anymore, <laughs> you know, or, or, unless they has some hidden bag somewhere, you know? All right. So what else do we want to talk about? So Bitcoin's in that point, I think, um, and, and it makes sense what we're talking about guys. Um, you know, it makes sense what we're talking about. Like, where are we? We're at Bitcoin testing all-time highs. Every cycle, every cycle, we don't know how low Bitcoin's going to go. Maybe this was the low at 60K. Maybe Bitcoin goes lower. We don't really know. But all I know is every cycle, every cycle, every, every cycle, as Bitcoin's been at all-time highs, that's been the, like, the last chance you have, the literal last chance you have to accumulate altcoins at relatively low low i don't really don't think like old coins are really low anymore but quote unquote low prices that's every cycle 2020 that was your last chance when bitcoin was at all time like was testing all time highs that was your last chance to accumulate old coins at low prices right here back in 2017 that was your last chance for to pick up old coins at low prices both of these scenarios where you got to pull back in 2017 but this scenario old coins went to the moon okay you guys know, a lot of you guys were here back in, 20, in 2020, end of 2020. All coins went to the moon in this move right here, okay? And I think that's where we're at right now. We're at Bitcoin struggling with all-time highs a little bit. That's normal, right? We did it 2020. We struggled with it for about three weeks. And we also struggled with it for about three weeks back in 2017. And that's totally normal. I think we're at that point where we're struggling with all-time highs. But as soon as we break through... The people who haven't accumulated altcoins yet are going to be very pissed off of missing a life-changing opportunity um, that was right in front of their face because they're not following what's happened in previous cycles and they're trying to say this time is going to be different. 
this time is going to be different. And any time I've ever been in crypto, when someone says this time is going to be different, they've gotten wrecked. It's never different, okay? Why? Because cycles are emotions. Cycles are human behavior. We behave in cycles. So we do the same thing over and over again. Because why? Humans are insane. <laughs> That's why. Because we do the same thing over and over again. Okay? And that's why the crypto cycles, albeit the moves are, you know, might be somewhat different at some points, the cycles end up playing the same. Okay? Um, and the same thing will happen again. Bitcoin may struggle with this all-time high for a few more weeks, but once it gets through, you're going to wish that you were holding all coins. Okay? Um, it is what it is. All right. Who we got in the chat? What old coins do I recommend? Well, you, you know the old coins I recommend. You, you, you know the old coins that I love, okay? It's the same old coins that I, I, I like <laughs> throughout, the whole, throughout the whole bull market, right? Um, I can go over the old coins that I like. I mean, I haven't done that in a while. I think, you know, let's, let's go over here to, the, to CoinGecko, okay? Let's go look at some of the... It's more about narratives. So what's the hot narratives to be in, right? Think about what's hot in the world right now. All right, so let's go look at categories. Um, the hot narratives, all right? Uh, number one, I think, is the most obvious, but I still think it's super, super small, is AI, right? I mean, it's super obvious. We've been talking about AI forever, since like the lows almost. We've been talking about AI coins and why you want to be AI coins and why you at least want one AI coin, right? It's the AI market cap, dude, it's still only 23 billion. That's freaking crazy, man. <laughs> The whole AI crypto market cap is only $23 billion. That's less than Cardano's market cap, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I may be wrong about that. I think that's actually false. But I think it's pretty close. Um, or I, I guess it's less than Doge and Shib's market cap combined. All of the AI coins combined. right? Still super, super small. I still think that the, the AI coins have a massive rally left in them because AI is the hottest narrative in the world. AI coins aren't even, there's not even one AI coin in the top 30 coins yet, right? FET, FET has gone nuts and it's still only the number 50 coin. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and FET has gone berserk, you know? Um, but any of these, I, I, I honestly, I think Render, Bit, Bitenser, Fetch, um, Ajax, any of these top four are good holds, right? On pullbacks, on pullbacks, not on pumps, okay? On pullbacks, these are good holds. Um, any of these four, I think, are a staple. Staple, any of these four, okay? Fet's my biggest AI holding, um, but you, you can't really can't go wrong with any of those, any of these four. Um, PAL's a good one. I've been in PAL for a while. Really, like, I mean, the thing about these is a lot of these are, a lot of these are shit, <laughs> but... But the AI coins, it's such a small industry. I would just, dude, I would just stay in the top, stay in the top four coins and you still have so much upside, right? Stay in, stay in these top four coins. You don't need to go all the way down this list for these coins because some of these are still small. 32, 34, 50, and 83. Like none of these coins are in the top 30 coins. And I think you'll see like at least two of these get in the top 20 at least, right? So um ai is the hottest narrative i think you got to have at least one AI. if you don't have one of these ai coin i think you're going to underperform um and i've been i'm not just saying that now after the pump i've been saying that for months actually not months i've been saying that since like fet was at like 15 cents and render was at like a dollar right so um we're not we're not hindsight here um let's go look at what else is popular so you know, I got one that I think is 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 one thing that I think is a really good spot to be in. <laughs> Bass and horse guy, you can get horse guy AI too. If you want to, not financial advice. Um, you know, just know with any meme coin, you can you it can go to zero. Okay, just want to make that clear, man. Jesus, man. Some people they buy a meme coin, they think it they think it can't go down. It's ridiculous, man. Um, anyways, um, let's see. Uh, the other one, the, the other one that I think is still low, and I think this is going to be like the next AI move, okay? And I, I, I've been, 
well, not Ben, I have built a position because I, be I believe in this for a while, okay, is RWA. I would okay. like to bring your attention to a narrative named Props. Whoa! <laughs> um, RWA, real world assets. What is this? this these are think these are coins that connect the real world to crypto. Like these are the these are the coins that tokenize real world assets, right? Things that like tokenize the stock market. Things that tokenize. Um, leases things that tokenize contracts right like real world stuff um i i, I this this industry is so low bro <laughs> like um my biggest hold is 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 an ex I'm, complete transparency my biggest hold is um alliance block just full transparency so but but i i i think this this shit is so undervalued because these are things that actually have real world use case. Like if there was ever to be a real world use case, these things have a real world use case. Uh, but a lot of these, a lot of these are getting freaking sent the last few days. Like this market cap is up 36% <laughs> in the last 24 hours. Um, I think a lot of these, a lot of these are good, but my biggest holding is Alliance Block and XRA, which has been doing pretty good. We talked about, actually, we talked about that yesterday. It's, it did pretty good today despite the little crypto pullback today. But yeah, um, look for the hot narratives, man. And then gaming, right? I mean, gaming is, is one that we've talked about. Gaming hasn't been moving too much lately, but like gaming, which I think is kind of an obvious one. Why is, why is gaming, why is gaming crypto going to be big? It's just, it's so obvious, okay? It, and I, I don't I don't think a lot of people old old people I think people older than 40 don't understand why gaming is big because the people over 40 did not grow up with gaming okay I grew up as a gamer I was a huge gamer everyone who's younger than me was a gamer every kid that I know is a gamer okay and those are the people that are going to be pumping our bags later on because listen who's buying all coins? right when the market's hot right you're smart <laughs> you're in now but who's buying old coins watching TikTok videos okay it's going to be the young people and they're going to go for the gaming tokens because they like gaming okay so these ones are beginning to hit but yeah gaming's obvious for obvious reasons right young people understand tech young people are gamers that's it <laughs> you put two and two together there you go um i think it's pretty obvious but you, you can go with any of these you can go with literally any of these coins too. Any of these coins are, are fine. Like not, I would say not any of them. That's that's a little dramatic. But um, speaking of RWA, like of like I have been in Rio for months. Super low uh, MC and up thirty percent today. Look at my old coin, which is right here, Vulcan Forged, which is actually pretty low down the list. But Vulcan Forged is one that performed well in twenty twenty one. I think it's going to perform well again. It already has performed pretty good, but. I think it's going to perform just as good when the market gets in that mania phase. Uh, but you could go do your research on these. I'm not going to go through every single one, but gaming, it, it, it just makes sense. It, as someone who grew up as a gamer, I get it. I, I understand. A lot of people just don't understand. Like, why, why would you buy crypto gaming tokens? It, it, who cares? All the games suck. Yes, <laughs> they all suck. Chili Hops, shout out to Hops, shout out to Hops, man, shout out to Hops. I'm gonna put a super chat on the screen. Hops said, uh, "Chili's will run in June during Euro 2024." Mark my words. Fuck, man, I gotta buy some chili. Hops, you're gonna make me buy some chilies. Shit, man, am I gonna? Am I really gonna buy some chilies tonight? Should I buy chilies for Hops, guys? I did this with Bath. Bath told me to buy Zeta. I'm up on Zeta, so it was a good buy. Any coin that you're up on in profit, it was a good decision, okay? Now, Hoffs is trying to get me to buy some chilies. <laughs> should I buy some CHC chilies for Hoffs? will run in June during Euro 2024. I think that I should Mark buy my some words. chilies for Hoffs. Um, I think I should. Ah, Data War said yes. Willie said sure. All right. Fine. 
I'm going to buy $500 of chili tonight. <laughs> I'm buying $500 of chilies tonight for Hoffs, okay? $500 for tonight. Strap up. We're going, going to the moon. I, I'm probably going to be FOMOing. I think it's up. Chilies. Look at it, man. Oh, look at the retest. Oh. <laughs> I think, a, you know, I honestly, you know, I'm just doing it for hops, but I actually think this is like a legit, this is a pretty legit trade right here. Yeah, man, we got the bull flag retest. I think this is pretty legit trade. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're buying 500 bucks for hops. Fuck it. I said I wasn't buying any more crypto. The only time I'm going to buy more crypto is if one of you guys talk me into buying something. I, actually, this chart is pretty good. I actually like this chart. <laughs> I actually really like this chart. <laughs> Let's go, man. This is actually pretty bullish. This is really bullish. Uh, I <laughs> Look at Stropa I real, real estate real world token browns. Oh, Lord. As long as you're throwing money around, buy me $500 of Bitcoin. The Chili's Bitcoin chart. Let's look at Chili's Bitcoin. It's probably horrible. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> oh! Oh! This is why I'm bullish on altcoins, guys. Do you guys see these altcoin pair charts? Even Chili's is bullish against Bitcoin. Oh my God. Oh my God, Maja's leg is asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> this actually looks good. Even Bath, Bath, Bath. Bath, even you have to say this looks pretty good. Come on, this looks pretty good. <laughs> Holy shit. This is why old coin season's coming, guys. <laughs> Shill stream go full. <laughs> You guys see these Bitcoin pair charts? Like, am I <laughs> am I slightly insane? Like, am I the only one looking at the like seeing these altcoin pair charts and like kind of getting like kind of liking them? Am I the only one? Because like even the even the coins that haven't performed well are starting to are starting to be at support. Like that is so good. Like I don't I don't care about the coins that are, I don't care about Injective or Solana or Fet or you know, uh, near these, those ones are going to look bullish against Bitcoin, right? Because they they pumped. Even the ones that haven't pumped are at support now. That's why I believe that altcoin season's around the corner. Because even the shit, not I say shit coins, even the coins that perform like shit, let's be real, are starting to look really really good. I mean, look at Chili's, bro. Um, actually, I want to show you guys this chart. I told you guys I was going to show you guys this chart yesterday. This is the total three against Bitcoin chart. And this is from OG Yomi. I did not find this, by the way. So I'm, I'm definitely stealing someone's chart here. I'm being totally honest. I'm stealing OG Yomi's chart. Whenever I steal someone's chart, I'll, I'll definitely admit it. This I'm stealing OG Yomi's chart. Okay. Um, this chart is really, really nice. Do you, does, do you guys see what I see here? I see multiple things. I'm, I'm going to show you guys why I see confluence on altcoins outperforming Bitcoin for, for on the high time frames. I'm not talking about on the one hour. I'm talking about on the weekly, okay? First of all, look where you came back down to. You came back down to a significant level here, right? Significant level right here. You guys can see it, right? Multiple support and resistance levels coming in right here, okay? Also, look at the three drives lower and the three drives higher on the RSI. So you have massive bullish divergence on the total three Bitcoin chart, okay? Three lower lows, 
three higher lows on the RSI. Massive bullish divergence. Not only that, okay, this is also a Wyckoff formation, right? You have one, two, three hits to the low, okay? So you have your Wyckoff accumulation phase going on here, okay? So that's three. Not only that, but where do you think this retracement level is, guys? If we pull the lows to the highs, okay, where did we get the bounce on the close? The golden pocket. <laughs> you guys see the confluence on this? The confluence on this is absolutely insane. Like th there's four major, major, major things going on. Bullish divergence, wake off, um, at major support level, at the golden pocket. Four major confluence signals that we should see, in theory, altcoins outperform Bitcoin on the weekly um, within the next few weeks, right? Maybe we get a red candle that back tests the support again one more time. But, but ultimately, we expect this to be the low for all coins against Bitcoin, right? So um, I think like this this chart looks really, really good, man. And, and you pair that with those old coin pair charts we look at, like Chili's, XRP, Cardano, Cosmos, all being at support levels against BTC. Man. Man, like either either this time is different or we, we are we are set up. We are set up and ready to rock and roll. Uh pair it with a good Merlot. <laughs> there you go, wait. There you go, bro. Oh Lord, bro. Alright. And if you got if you don't know what this chart means, guys, this is basically total three against Bitcoin, right? So it's kinda like Bitcoin it's like the opposite of Bitcoin dominance. Right? So if this goes up. You're expecting altcoins to outpace Bitcoin. If this goes down, you're expecting altcoins to, 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 or Bitcoin to outpace altcoins. You can see that Bitcoin has been wrecking the altcoins since the blow, really. I mean, Bitcoin has been trouncing the altcoins. But I think this is getting ready to, to start putting that other way, going that other way, man, which I think is cool. Uh, Jordan, the, sh the bears are going to find out. Shh. Um, anyways, anyways, guys, I think we talked about a lot of cool stuff today. Um, we talked about a lot of cool stuff today. Now, let's talk about the other side. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me look at the super chats that came in. I know, I know Hoff sent one. Um, Evie said, what are your thoughts on D-pin tokens? D-pin? Well, let's go look at the category real quick. Let's go look at the category. See if they have a category. Uh, oh shit. Not this one. Categories. Here we go. Sort by category. Let's go down. Um, D pin. Here we go. A lot of these coins are like <laughs> also AI coins, right? So it's, I guess they slightly, some of these overlap into AI, right? Like Ocean, Render, Filecoin. Um, you know, a lot of these overlap. I think I think it's fine. It, this one's fine. It, it, it's it's. I think it's it's very similar to AI in a way. That's why you're seeing you're seeing so much overlap in the coins. Um. But yeah, I mean, I think I think you can. The thing about this is you you can kind of pick AI coins and also be in in the deep end section, right? So you can like buy Ocean, which is AI and Dpin, or you can buy Render, which is AI and Dpin, right? Or you can buy, you know, uh, what's another one? Like Akash, right? Which is AI and Dpin. Like you, you, you can get both by buying some of these coins. So you can have the best of both worlds, you know? Even some of the lower cap ones. But... Not too bad. So I don't. I don't mind. I don't mind some of those coins. Uh, Alan said, "Speaking of RWA, I've been in Rio for months. Super low cap market cap and up thirty percent today. Look at my altcoin. Look at my altcoin. Strap up. We're going nice. to the moon. That's what I'm talking about, man. It's always a good day. We can say, look at my altcoin. Yeah, dude. RWA, I think is going to be. RWA is going to be the next hot narrative. I think. Um, so if you don't know anything about it, do some research. Right. Don't just fumble into a coin." Look at why real world asset coins will be big, okay? Just like how AI coins have 
gone nuts. There was a reason for it. Look at RWA, like look at the category RWA and do some research on the category. And then if you're interested, look at a coin. But um, but yeah, I'm 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 pretty much balls deep in Alliance Block, so which which actually went nuts today, which I'm happy about. But I'm balls deep in this one, so um, we'll see what happens. But let's see, I'm balls deep. On a script, I said I would like to bring your attention to a RWA narrative props. I've heard of props. Props is a good one too. There's a lot of coins, right? It's like look at my old coin. <laughs> you only need one. <laughs> I think they all pumped today. You only need one of them. Only need one. Envy say, what are your thoughts? Okay, we did that for Envy. Shout out to Envy again. Look at prop, Proppy AI real estate, real world token. So it's AI and real estate? Or that's that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I don't I don't mind that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Decentralized physical infrastructure. You know what also I think is big? I, I actually um you know what I actually also also think is going to be a big sector is, um, I think I, I think it'll, it's going to be a lot of the things connecting with AI, right? And this is what we have to we have to try to figure out these because, guys, like if this isn't like any other bull market, we haven't really even seen like most of the altcoin rallies yet. I know that sounds crazy because a lot of altcoins have rallied a lot, but we really haven't seen a lot of the altcoin rallies yet. If this is like any other bull market, right? Like you've seen, a lot of altcoin pairs against Bitcoin are actually at lows, right? Which means they have a lot of upside to go historically, right? So what we need to figure out is the hottest narratives. We talked about gaming. We talked about AI. We talked about um, RWAs. Another uh, One that I think is so small that I do own one coin in. Because I'm a big believer in if you like a narrative, just, just own one coin in that narrative. You don't need to own all of them. Um, one that I think is really big, and it's kind of like it is AI, but it's like a, a type of AI is decentralized science. What 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 is decentralized science? It's, and I th I think this is like once AI gets big, I think this is going to be huge, huge. What is it? It's basically when AI, it like in the medical field. Right, so figuring out vaccines, AI figuring out vaccines, AI doing surgeries, AI, um, you know, uh, figuring out scientific things, right? Which which usually humans do. Uh, I think a lot like this is one that is so small. Like the whole market cap is only one billion on all these coins, all of them combined. Uh, this is one where I think is super early. Super, super early. Like you're, you're super early on this shit, man. But I, I think if AI continues to blow up, which I think it will be, the, some of these could go nuts, right? Um, one that I'm in is Rejuve AI, just to, just to give you a heads up. I'm in Rejuve AI. But I know a lot of people like Research Coin and a lot of people like Origin, uh, Origin Trail. But I, I know like... These ones are super low market cap, so you gotta you gotta do your own research on these. But I think that's one that's super small, super super small, man. Autistic said AI sucks. <laughs> your mom sucks, autistic. Okay, no, your mom doesn't suck. Your mom's probably a super nice lady. I love autistic. I love mama autistic. Okay, I love mama autistic. I don't think I've mentioned this, but I took twenty percent profits across my entire portfolio. At the local top, one mm. Bitcoin was seventy-two k, and death was <sighs> four thousand fifty. Bybit link. Edu education gonna be big for CZ. I did see that. I did see that. You know what I'm most excited about, though? I'm gonna tell you guys this. Okay. Um, I'm bullish on Bitcoin right here. I want to remind you guys, though. Um. Just, just, just as we go along, like guys, things, 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 things are not like for most people, things don't feel as bullish as they did up here, right? Up here, remember, remember that I'm saying this, I, I'm saying this to help you guys. I really am. Like I'm trying to help you guys when I say this stuff. It's not to, 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 to piss you off. It's not to make you feel bad. I'm saying this to generally help you. For someone who's been through two cycles in the past. I'm genuinely trying to help you when I say this. Remember how you felt up here? 
when it's super cycle, Bitcoin's never going to go down. ETFs will never be sellers. By the way, guys, the last three days have been net outflows for the ETFs. So yes, the ETFs can be sellers. <laughs> okay, so throw that narrative out the, out the trash. Okay, ETFs can be sellers. All right, it's been three days in a row of negative out or negative inflows or outflows on the ETFs. So please throw that narrative in the trash. Okay. Solid 10x. Remember, you're confident in. Remember how you fell up here. Okay. Thinking super cycle when I was like, guys, we're not going to a super cycle, guys. We're chill out. <laughs> we're not. Go There's no super cycle. When Bitcoin, which I do think it will, because I think we're seeing a lot of negativity. Why do I think it's? A, why do I think it's seen a lot of negativity for Bitcoin, guys? Did you, did you guys see the thumbnails on videos yesterday? I showed you guys them yesterday. This was the first thumbnail I saw when I opened up YouTube yesterday. This is how. This is not how tops happen. <laughs> Tops don't happen when I open up YouTube and I see this. Okay? This is not how tops happen. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying, man. This is not how tops happen, fellas. Okay? This is not how tops happen, fellas. Okay? This is not how tops happen. Do you, do you see this? Okay, this is not how tops happen. This is not how tops happen. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's just, it, this is not how tops happen. You don't see the biggest crypto channels saying more bloodbath, Bitcoin bull run over at the top. You don't see that. Everyone's bullish at the top. Let's, let's go back over here. Why I'm saying this is, when things start to come back up and you see 70k Bitcoin again, because you are going to see Bitcoin in the 70ks again, okay? You are going to see Bitcoin in the 70ks again. I'm pretty not 100%. Obviously, nothing's 100%, but I'm pretty confident you're going to see Bitcoin in the 70ks again. Remember to take profits. Do not get too euphoric, because these same people showing this this thumbnail, it's going to be saying Bitcoin bull run is back. It's going to be saying altcoin pumps just starting. <laughs> okay. Remember to take profits on the way up. Remember how you felt yesterday when Bitcoin was at 60K. You probably felt like shit. You're probably like, why didn't I take any profits? Remember to take some profits on the way up. That doesn't mean you have to be selling everything. You don't have to sell everything. Okay. But remember to take profits on the way to the upside. Okay, And I'm not saying this so you guys get mad at me and saying, Jordan's a bear. He's telling me to sell. I'm trying to help you who's someone who's been through this before. Remember to take profits. <laughs> okay. Uh, autistic. What's up, man? Friendly reminder. Oh, my God. Guys, that's such a mid-curve way of thinking. You know how many people told me that Fitz, Fitz is scam. Fitz is scam. <laughs> no shit. All crypto is a meme. All crypto is a meme. ETH is a meme. Solana is a meme. Maddox a meme. <laughs> They're all memes. Oh my God. Autistic, I love you, man. But we, we can't be mid-curving it. Memes perform the best. Good tech doesn't perform. It's a fact. <laughs> Lord Almighty. We can't be mid-curving it. I, I, autistic. I love you, man. I, I, I love you so much. You come in here and you show support on the stream almost every single day, more than most people do, okay? But we can't be mid-curving it. <laughs> okay? Most AI coins are memes and don't actually do anything. But who cares? If AI is hot, AI coins will pump. Right? Just like, do memes do anything? No. If memes are hot, memes pump. Who cares if they do anything? Are we in? Are you buying an AI coin to change the world or are you buying it to sell higher? Let's be honest. 99% of you guys are buying it to sell higher. You're not buying it to change the world. Be honest with yourself. Once you're honest with yourself, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier. <laughs> it's a lot easier. Okay? It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, 
Jeez, man. Jeez, you're gonna make me go on a tangent. Rant alert. Maybe go on a tangent. Friendly reminder: All AI in crypto is a LARP, and nothing is real. You know if that? you believe there is any real AI product build on a blockchain, search for the a whole space is probably going to be. Thank you, skillful. Since you hooked up with <laughs> Thank <anyone>. you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pumpamentals matter more than fundamentals. Pumpamentals matter more than fundamentals. And I, I, people get mad when I say this. It's just the fact. Okay? Good tech doesn't perform well. It's just true. You know, bearing some things. That's not always true. Right? That's not always true. Bitcoin performs well. I, Bitcoin's the only non-meme in crypto. If, if, if you ask me, I'd say Bitcoin's the only non-meme in crypto. Daniel, I buy to change the world. Now we're all playing... <laughs> He buys to change the world. Bitcoin's the only crypto I believe in. I truly believe in Bitcoin. I 100% I believe in Bitcoin. I 100% believe in why Bitcoin is here. I 100% believe in why Bitcoin has a use case. I 100% believe in Bitcoin. 110%. I, I understand Bitcoin. For a long time, I didn't understand Bitcoin. I didn't, I didn't get it, right? I didn't get it. I get Bitcoin, okay? It makes sense to me why Bitcoin has value. Anyways, let's let's stop talking about this. Um, guys, let me know in the chat. Let's do a poll real quick. Let's do a poll. Um, let's do a poll. Uh, is is ETH BTC bottomed? Yes or no? This is gonna be an interesting poll. I'm curious to what people think. Like, is the Ethereum Bitcoin ratio bottomed out? Put it in the chat. Let me know. Let me know in the chat. Is Ethereum Bitcoin bottomed? <laughs> Let's see what people think. Let's see what people think. Let's see what people think. It doesn't matter what you think. And to be quite honest, I would actually benefit more if Bitcoin if Bitcoin outpaced ETH. I'm going to be honest. I, I would benefit more if Bitcoin outpaced ETH. So I actually would prefer if Bitcoin outpaced ETH. But I, I actually think that ETH is going to outpace Bitcoin, to be quite honest. Um, <laughs> Autistic said, Daddy, you're so easy to trigger. I'm not easy to trigger. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to spit facts. Rant alert. You did trigger me a little bit, though. You did trigger me a little bit, man. Ah, you did. You did. Um... No, not bottomed. No, I think so. Last time I bottomed, I got <laughs> yeet. Um, yeah, I think I think ETH BTC is bottomed here. Um, why? I I don't think the sentiment can get worse. Think about all the things that happened, and, and ETH has not bottomed. Like ETH has not gone lower. Think about it. Think about all the people talking talking crap about ETH. Think about um, think about. Um, the SEC just attacking ETH. SEC attacking, right? ETH. Think about the Solana move up, which you think would have hurt ETH, but like it really, it really didn't. Um, I don't know what else could push ETH so lower against Bitcoin at this point. Reached. And I and I and <laughs> I'm th I'm trying to think of the things that would push ETH Bitcoin lower, and then I'm trying to think of the things that would push ETH Bitcoin higher, which is. ETF, which is like literally the biggest thing you could put here. Um, just horrible, like re retail noob sentiment, right? Like I, I, I could think of so much reasons for ETH to go up, not many more reasons for ETH to go down, right? Like what, what, what could push this lower? I, I don't know at this point. I don't know at this point. <laughs> <laughs> to be quite honest, <laughs> to be quite honest, right? So let's just get rid of those. But yeah, I think ETH BTC is bottomed. But that that's not that, like that's not only for ETH. I really don't care about ETH to be honest. I, I really don't care. Um, and to be quite honest, like I told you guys, like I'm in layer twos, not really ETH to be honest. I mean, I own a little bit of ETH, but I'm on more of the layer twos than ETH. So I could care less of ETH pumped. 
it's more for the all coins. Because if you look at the past, when ETH BTC has moved up, that's been relatively good times for all coins, right? When ETH BTC has moved down, that's been not the best time for all coins in general, right? Um, so if you're an altcoin lover, you're going to be hoping for this. You're going to be hoping for this, which I do think is going to happen. Uh, <laughs> we're all still here scooping chilies. <laughs> the chilies chart looks bullish, man. I'm telling you, man, the chilies chart looks bullish. I'm, I got to give shout out to Hoffs. Yeah, that chart looks so bullish, man. That's like... I gotta add that to my uh, my BTC pair watch list here. Chili's BTC. I gotta add that to my. You guys have any other pairs that look good? You guys gonna make me want to buy more coins? I feel like I'm underexposed now. <laughs> I feel like I'm underexposed to old coins now after today. Maybe just. I mean, maybe that's just me. What else has good old coin pairs? Let's take a look. Let's look at um. So I got like Doge, Doge BTC, which is like the, the Doge is like the parameter of retail investors. Let's look at Doge Bitcoin. Does this look bullish? I don't know. You tell me. I would argue yes. Why would I argue yes, this looks bullish? I'm just looking at where it came down to. Right, so this is the previous all-time high. Right, so these are the previous highs. You fell below. You fell below the highs, reclaimed, and got back above. Right, like, I, I mean, you gotta, I, I would argue you gotta be, like, I think it's way better to be more bullish on Doge than be bearish on Doge here, right? I mean, it just makes sense to be. Like, the last cycle did the same thing, right? You, you kind of had the hot, the lows. You came back down one more time, and then you were off to the races. I don't know, man. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Who invited Gary? Gen Why is Gary Gensler in the chat? Rant alert. Stupid. By the way, do I still have my ETH chart? By the way, I gotta I gotta tell you guys this. Right here is when the SEC went after ETH, right on this wick. So I gotta say this to you. This is the FU Gary Gensler wick. The FU Gary Gensler wick. We will call that that the wick. That is, that is the low for ETH. ETH will not go below that level. Okay? I'm going to make a bold claim and say that ETH, ETH will never go below that level again. I'm going to make a bold claim here. ETH will never go below that wick again. And that will forever be the FU Gary, the FU Gary Gensler wick. It will forever be known as that. And ETH will never go below that wick again, ever again. Even in the bear market, it won't go below that wick. <laughs> and it's a shout out to Gary Gensler and all his minions. <laughs> we will forever call it the SEC bottom. Uh, bold claim cotton. It is kind of a bold claim. It's not really a bold claim though. Like it, this is pretty low. Like if ETH dropped all the way back down to here, that would be pretty brutal. <laughs> that would be pretty brutal. That would mean the market just gets crushed. <laughs> I don't think it goes back. Down. If it goes back down that low, the market's just getting crushed at that point. And it would just be, I wouldn't even care at that point. It would, it would just be horrible. Oh man. Tom K said, earn Bitcoin is bullish. Ooh. I like my bullish Bitcoin pair charts. I like how you guys are like looking at Bitcoin pair charts. I like this is what you should be looking at, guys. USD charts or whatever, like they're all gonna go up in the bull market. Look at the Bitcoin pair chart. It's gonna tell you what coins are gonna pump the most. Damn. 
I mean, you already got the pump. You already got the pump. So like, but were there signs of a pump in the past? Like, were there signs that this was going to do this? That's why I like, sometimes I like to go look and like, look at a big pump and say, was, was there a sign that this was going to do this? Or was this random? You know, and I don't think this was random. Like, what was this? What was this chart? You could argue, right? One, really two, come up, third hit, right? Reclaim. This was really, ah, it's like, this range is like brutal, but really like this was the reclaim and the trigger, the trigger was as soon as you got back above that low right here, you went long, boom, bam. There, there it was, right? But like, it's like the, the Bitcoin pair chart had wiped off. Nice, man. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Really, really nice. Slash BTC Super That's the power of the one, two, three. The power of the number three, fellas. Remember the power of the number three. Power of the number three. Base backed by Coinbase, not a meme. Um. Let's see. I bet Ponytail Gary sold Solly short of that can. <laughs> Ponytail Gary. <laughs> Pony. I mean, Ponytail. Uh, <laughs> Ponytail. Gareth, ponytail Gareth. I hope his ponytail is doing well, man. You know. Uh, listen, guys, not everyone's gonna get every call wrong, call right. I've been wrong many, many times. Okay, but I think there comes a point where I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I, to me, like, I'm I'm not starting a trading group and stuff like this. Like, all I'll say is like, some of these guys they got like trading groups, and I'm like. How have I made better calls just being bullish than a lot of these guys with these stupid trading groups? I, 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 I don't get it. I, sometimes I, I don't understand. I, you know, maybe I should just start a trading group and just call it the bullish trading group. <laughs> That's really all you had to be. I mean, it doesn't take rocket science. I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. We're, we're, we're going to call it the bullish trading group. Okay, um, what else do we got? What else do we got? Um, but like I said, not everyone's right all the time. There'll be a time where I'm wrong. Um, but hopefully, this is why you learn from the past, right? We're bullish on the way up, but you know, <laughs> the higher Bitcoin goes, the more worried we get, okay? Not the opposite, right? We, we don't fall for bad news, okay? I, I think the, the biggest thing you could take from this ETH dump right here, guys, is or the ETH, not the ETH dump, but the ETH bad news. Bad news always marks lows. Bad news always marks lows. We say it every time. People always fall for it, though. Bad news always marks lows. Don't short bad news. Don't long good news. It always marks the lower the top. I I, I think I think. Um, but like I said, like what we need to do now. Okay, we run it up. We do, all we gotta do is just take profits at incremental levels. That's all we gotta do, man. We just take profits now. It's great. It's great. The market goes up. We just take profits. It's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> the, the bullish trading group. <laughs> oh lord, pick one and buy that shit. <laughs> there you go, Wayne. <laughs> buy Bitcoin and some random altcoins. Inverse head Make and shoulder BTC four hour chart. Oh, man. There's thousands of Gary's in the matrix. Inverse head and shoulders Bitcoin four hour chart. Bro, that's what we got on the screen, the almost the whole stream. <laughs> I love some people, man. You're funny, man. And Paul Nicholson. I love you, man. He comes in and said, inverse head and shoulder Bitcoin four hour chart. We got that on the screen the whole stream, bro. <laughs> uh, I love you. It's Paul up. Nicholson. We're going to the moon. Paul Nicholson. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to you. 
Let's go, man. Let's go. Shout out to you. But yeah, it, it, it's it's the most obvious inverse head and shoulders that's ever existed. But I, I, I gotta say, I learned my, this is where I learned my lessons. This is this is where we learn the lessons. <laughs> You guys are making me laugh in the chat. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Okay, okay, okay. Don't make me laugh in the chat. We gotta be nice to Paul Nicholson. Okay. <laughs> Last time I didn't believe in one of these cock and ball patterns. I said, I, 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 I try to find where it was. You guys would probably know. I think Anderson will remember. Anderson made fun of me for not believing in the cock and balls pattern. And it played out. It was somewhere in this zone. And it was somewhere in here. I didn't believe in the cock and balls. I think it was this cock and balls. I think it was this cock and balls. <laughs> Some people are probably like, let's guy talk about cock and balls. I think it was right here. It was this cock and balls. I didn't believe in the cock and balls. Bitcoin had this pullback. Oh yeah, it was the ETF cock and balls. It was the ETF cock and balls. That's what it was. It was the ETF pullback, very similar to what happened right now. Bitcoin had this cock and balls. And I, I, I said, I don't believe, I think Bitcoin's gonna go up, but I don't believe in the cock and balls. And the cock and balls, look what the cock and balls did last time. And I did not believe in the cock and balls. That's why this time we're going with the cock and balls. Look, we went from the breakout, which was like 43K up to about 52,000 52, on the cock and balls breakout. So what we're going to do now is we're not going to fade the cock and balls. We're going to go with the cock and balls because we learn from our mistakes. We learn from our mistakes. So we got the cock and balls. We're going to go with the cock and balls. That was the wedge. No. That's, that's what we're going to do. Um, all right. Take a drink every time I say cock and balls. Cock and ball 2020. <laughs> the cock and ball 2021. Oh, shit, man. Oh, shit. But yeah, we, we, uh, you know, Mr. Nicholson, I love you, man. But yeah, we, we, got the, we, we do have it on the screen here. I do think it will play out. Obviously, no guarantees. Right? These aren't like, it's not like, oh my God, we have this. It has to go up. But I got to respect what's on the chart and we're going to go with what's on the chart. Okay. Uh, will Christie came in with the super sticker. Shout out to Will Christie, Tom K. We did the earned Bitcoin pair. Aerodrome on base, backed by base is very hot narrative right now. I, base is like the people are trying to make base the new soul, which it could be. It, could, it honestly could be, to be honest. Like, I think the ETH layer twos are going to start heating up again. A lot of them had really good pullbacks. Uh, Bay, oh, base doesn't have a coin, but base has the hot narrative right now. But I think a lot of these layer twos had really nice pullbacks. Like Optimism tested the bull market support band. That was a great buy. Like you picked up Optimism at three bucks. You sniped that shit. That was a fantastic, fantastic scoop. Arbitrum, if you skip that on the pullback, that was a good scoop. I think those are going to, like, if, if ETH does this, like, if ETH Talking does what I think it's going to do. And you guys remember, like, everyone made fun of me last time. I, I stuck on all this. Remember when ETH was down here? And I said, I'm guys, I'm scooping up ETH layer twos. I'm scooping up ETH layer twos. I'm scooping up ETH layer twos. And then ETH started to move up and do, like, Optimism did, like, a 3X. Arbitrum did, like, a 3X. I think we're going to see that again. If ETH gets this move up with the with the ETH ETF narrative, which I think is going to start playing out. I really do. I think people are going to start recognizing like shit, the ETH ETF. Like BlackRock, guys, BlackRock is like 360, has 360 wins and one loss for the ETF applications. There, There is going to be an ETH ETF, it, 110%. It's, it, there's no way it gets denied, okay? And the hype into that, they just started a hundred million ETH fund, <laughs> like just out of nowhere. Yeah, we're gonna we're, we're gonna start an ETH hundred million ETH fund. It's a lot of freaking money just to start randomly. Okay, if this catches fire, you're gonna see these layer twos like Optimism, Arbitrum, Matic start to light up again. Scale, all these are gonna go freaking nuts. 
if it catches fire again, which I think is, I think it's I think it's already started, and I think it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna catch fire, it's gonna catch fire again. So that's what we got there. Um, but yeah, aerodrome, anything on base should perform. Like if base if base continues hot, all the base tokens will do good. I got I want to buy a base token, but I, I told myself I'm no more buying, even though I'm buying chilies now because Hoff's <sighs> Hoff's making me FOMO into chilies. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, cock and ball 2021 heard of ZK zinc era. Never heard of ZK zinc era, man. Lock sky with the gifted membership. Shout out to lock sky. Thanks for coming in, man. Dan said, I buy to change the world. Now we're all poor. Tim said solid 10 X this bull run. You're confident in 10 X. It depends what coin you're in. Bitcoin ain't doing a 10 X. Tell you right now. Bitcoin ain't doing a 10 X. ETH ain't doing a 10 X. I would argue Soul ain't doing a 10x from here. XRP ain't doing a 10x. Uh, and the and, and only reason I'm saying this is because I'm just I'm just thinking about it logically, market cap wise. I don't think any of these. The only top 10 coin I really I could see doing a 10x is Doge. I don't think Cardano, XRP, Solana, BNB, ETH, or BTC will any of them will do a 10x from here. The only one I think could do it is Doge, just because <laughs> Doge is Doge, right? We we know if Doge catches gets his fire, I can catch fire. Um, even most of these, like I don't, Avax ten X from here. That's a that's a big move, man. It could do it. I mean, I I, I think I'm. <laughs> I, I think we're all like sometimes we all forget what happens in crypto mania. Maybe I'm being not bullish enough, like based on previous cycles. Because I think like last cycle Cardano got to like Cardano's market cap is is that it was at three dollars. Cardano was like six x higher than it is now, so that means Cardano had like a Cardano had like a so it's a hundred and twenty three billion dollar market cap at the peak. <laughs> so I I guess really anything's really possible. Doge was at what. 70 something cents like doge had like a hundred billion dollar market cap so you, you see ridiculous market caps i guess it's not terribly unreasonable but um yeah <laughs> that's all i'll say about that but yeah like 10 i think you could see a 10x on some of these right i think things out like the top 30 could do a 10x maybe not the top 30 it, it, it's kind of a lot for a top 30 at this point <laughs> Franco said, I don't think I've mentioned this. Franco's never mentioned this, guys. But I took 20% profits across my whole portfolio at the local top when Bitcoin was at 72K and ETH was at 4,050. Buy BitLink. He's never mentioned this, guys. He's only telling this us now. Okay. So, Franco, thanks for telling us this. Um, and <laughs> make sure you tell us this more. I think everyone wants to hear how much, I mean, how much proud of you are that you sold 20 percent. i'm i'm proud of you i think people want to hear it more of how proud how proud you are of yourself of 20 percent sell at the top okay just keep telling people <laughs> i love it man. it takes me a lot thank, thank you franco thank you franco man just just keep saying it keep saying it man keep saying it you're probably going to help someone when you say that by the way like every Franco, every time you say that, you're probably gonna help one person. Seriously, you're probably gonna help one person be able to press that sell button every now and then. <sighs> so you don't want to press the sell button in the bull. You don't want to. You don't want to do it, man. All right. Uh, was it eight seventeen? All right. We'll stay on for a few more minutes, guys. A few more minutes. A few more minutes. Nothing much really going on. Bitcoin sixty five thousand eight fifteen. We could just kind of try to form a low here, right? So. Kind of like how we did last time we were at this low, right? You see how we, we kind of moved up and then we moved down again. So we could kind of do like move up, move down, right? And then try to come back up. So we don't have to moon straight from here. The big invalidation point here is this low. So you see this green box? This green box is huge, right? So as long as we, that's what we talked about yesterday. As long as we hold this green box, all is good. If we lose this green box, 
I, I, it's not looking too great. I, I would say it's more, if we lose this green box, it's likely that we're at least going to come and test the low, low again at 60,000. Um, but that's the invalidation. I think it's more than likely that we see upside from here um, for, ev for everything that we talked about, right? Everything we talked about yesterday. Uh, the sentiment yesterday, I think you're going to see retail. Retail is going to buy back higher because this is what retail was watching yesterday. This is what retail was watching yesterday, okay? People telling them that the bull runs over and all coins are going sniffing the lawn, okay? I know what happens when that when that happens, okay? I and also, $1, hoping for five because bucks. if we just go and look at where traders are positioned, okay? I think traders are still feeling relatively bearish because when I go look at liquidations on Bitcoin, most of them are to the upside, right? So most trade, like max pain for traders is up at the moment, which, which is very different than a week ago where max pain was definitely down. I think max pain is up for traders at this moment. So uh, I think, I think when, you, when you put those two and two together, along with Bitcoin's just plain chart, I think it's more than likely we're going to see some upside here. And um, I don't know if it's going to be like this, this dick and balls pattern down here where you know, the, we, we had a target, but it broke, it, it went, made a new high. We could easily do that. And um, I know when I've been in crypto long enough to know it just string, it takes a few green candles to string together to get the rally started again. Um, so we'll see if this dick and balls has the same thing that happened with the last one, which was Bitcoin made a new high. But yeah, I think all is good as long as we hold 64,600. All is good. PP Pekka. Mama always said never fade a cock and balls. <laughs> it's so messed up. So <laughs> we got to do it for this one. We got to do it for this one. So I have a lot of spirits in this world. We got a lot of experience in this world. Never fade a cock and balls. I've never faded a cock and balls in my life. I've been around a lot of cock and balls. <laughs> That's so messed up. Never fade the falling wedge. Or the cock and balls. All right, all right, all right. That's a good one though. That's a good one though. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. Good stuff, guys. Good freaking stuff, Ed. Man, is anyone else feeling good? I, I, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling really, really good, really, really good right now. I, I'm only feeling good because the charts are telling me to feel good. I'm not feeling good because like, I'm like euphoric. I don't think anyone's euphoric right now. I'm really, really not. I'm feeling the same way. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell you guys exactly how I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling the same way about the market right now than I did when the market was right here. And you guys know how bullish I was right here, right? I was screaming last chance to accumulate altcoins. Phase E is coming. Altcoins are about to rip up. You're not going to buy altcoins at this price ever again, okay? Screaming at the top of my goddamn lungs. I'm starting to feel that way again. I'm starting to feel that way again right now based on sentiment. Okay, one, two, here's ding dong. Here's ding and here's dong. Here's ding and here's dong. Here's dong and here's ding. <laughs> sentiment. And also all the Bitcoin pair charts we just looked at. And also the total three versus Bitcoin chart. Okay, charts are king. Charts are king. Feelings are not king. Charts are king. Okay. And also, what is your GPU the total three chart? The total three chart. Actually, we didn't even talk about this today. Like, what did total three do? What did all coins do yesterday? Look at the weekly. This was previous support. Just like down here, we said previous support, previous resistance test of support. This was previous support. All we did is flipped previous support into support again, right? So previous support flipped into support again, right? And look at the weekly getting bought up from that support level, right? 
That's all you really did. You didn't do anything crazy. Um, so I'm starting to feel the exact same way I did here. I'm starting to feel here again. Um, and that worked out well last time. I, I, I think that that's going to work out well here again. Um, it could take a little bit, kind of like how it, it took a little bit down here, right? It could take a little bit, right? You know, you know how <laughs> I was like, draw one phase E, one phase E, and then all of a sudden, boom, right? When phase E, boom! It might be that way, right? Maybe we go sideways for a few weeks, but ultimately, um, I'm feeling the same way about the market here that I did, here that I did here, here that I did here. Um, which is pretty damn good, which is pretty damn good. Self keys pumping. Self key. Just, just, I, I gotta look at self key. I, 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 I gotta look at self key. I gotta look at self key just for bat. Just cause bass said, look at self key. Yeah. Strap up. We're going to the moon. Jordan, how do I buy some Bitcoin? <laughs> so I like to see. Oh my lord, that weekly. Oh, the weekly. Oh. <laughs> Chill and drink a Pepsi. <laughs> I actually was drinking a Pepsi earlier. I already drank my Pepsi. I have a few sips of Pepsi, Pepsi left though. Okay, guys, I'm going to hop off. Um, fun stream, fun stream. By the way, let's look at this poll. Um, is Bitcoin, is ETH Bitcoin bottom? 61% say yes. Interesting, interesting. I agree. I agree. I actually agree with the majority. I think the, <laughs> I think the majority say that because I, I showed you guys the reasons why it has. <laughs> if I was showing you guys reasons why it didn't bottom, you guys probably would vote the opposite way. But I, I agree. I think ETH BTC is bottom. It's not that I'm bearish on Bitcoin. I just think... I, I think ETH will outpace Bitcoin from this point. Um, but yeah, that, I think they're both going to move up. It's just ETH moves up higher. Uh, ETH moves up faster, basically. So, um, all right, guys. I'm going to head out. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for hanging out. And um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow, same time, 7 p.m. streams every single day. I'm excited for next week. I think ne next week, we're going to start doing some fun stuff and do some member streams. Um, I'm going to do some walk videos. I'm excited to, 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 to start next week. I, I, as we get into this, I think we're going to, like I said, I think the market's going to pick up a little bit more and, uh, we're going to do a lot more fun stuff over here. So I'm um, excited for it going into next week. I think we're going to time it pretty perfectly actually. So, uh, let's get it. Anyways, I'm out of here guys. I'm going to go eat my, I want a sandwich. So I'm going to go make my little, I'm making a turkey sandwich. Homemade turkey sandwich. You can't beat the homemade turkey sandwich, man. Whew, man, sometimes just a plain turkey sandwich with bread. Some good stuff, guys. All right. Anyways, I'm out of here. Thanks for coming in. If you're new to the stream, make sure you guys smack that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow, 7 p.m., fellas. Peace.